What's up, my friends? This is Einstein, aka Open Source Code Gangster. This is my second Proteus tutorial. As you can see, today I'm going to show you how to make a blinking LED circuit. So, this is from the previous tutorial. This is where you place your components. So, you come and click on P, then you can search and you know the circuit of a blinking LED. You need the LED, then you type LED, and then Proteus will be searching for the LED. Then LED, you know that it's it's a diode. Then when it comes here, you look for the, the, the LED. Or you can type it in full because sometimes it doesn't know the, the component. Then you type it in full. So as you can see, this is the LED model from, from Proteus. As you can see from this side, this is the schematic model for the LED in, in Proteus. And this is the user-defined model. This is the one with the PCB LED. So that if you want to make a PCB later, this is the PCB layout of an LED. So if you want to, to, to make a PCB later, you place this one. But for us, we just want to simulate. So I'm going to double click this one. As you can see, it's placed on the list of components that I can use in my in my circuit design. The next, we need a resistor. Then for, 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 for Proteus, you just type RES, which is res. Then you use this one. This is a generic resistor. You can use this one for simulation. It can go from any amperage from one quarter watt up to 10 watts or anything you can use the same resistor and if you are designing a pcb that's when you can change here on the on the type of, of layer as you can see this is for surface mount this is a uh, 085 standard for surface mount this is uh, for the big ones the high wattage ones this is the rs90 this is the rs60 so this comes with experience but we usually use the the, the quarter watt is the 0 0.4 inch and this is raised so you double click here and now for the final component, you need a battery. As you can see, I'll just type bat battery. As you can see, you have the device which is a multi-cell battery. This 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 doesn't have a PCB layout because the battery doesn't have a PCB layout. But this is the battery that we need. So I'm going to double click here. But this is the battery that I that that, that I made the package for. I designed this package. As you can see, I just used a terminal block. It's a two-way. Was when I place on the PCB, I connect the terminal block and I connect my battery from an, an external source. So after I've added my three components, as you can see from from here, I place OK. Then now I can I can start adding my components to the middle of the of the circuit. So I, I take my battery, I place it, I click. Then it's there. It's a mine volts battery. As you can see, if you want to see the settings of the battery, you double click here. And if you want to change, you can come here and change to 12 volts. If you want to use 12 volts or if you want to use 5 volts, just use type 5 volts. Then you type OK. Then I place my red LED. Alright. Here I go. Then uh, I place my resistor. For for calculating the value for, 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 for the resistor, that's uh, you use Ohm's law. You use the, for you to know the amount of uh, of current that, that, that the, the resistor needs. That's uh, a lesson for another day. But you can see you click on the edge of the battery. Then you click on the, on the edge of the of the, of the component as you can see this is a 10k the 10 kilo ohm uh, resistor then if you want to simulate this is just for for turning on the, the led then you come to simulate then you click then the process will start but as you can see right now the led you cannot see anything is because the led is a high current there's a high current 